to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video because I am a foodie and I love the fall time of year because all of the like stews and pumpkin pastas and pumpkin baking. I just love all of that stuff. So Reese's here. Do I say hi? Ah! <laughs> she ran away. My two and a half year old is here. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lindsay. I have three girls, six, four, and two. So the older two are at school. We just walked them to school and we came home and we are going to get some cooking and ah! some baking. Do I say hi? Uh, uh, and she wants to say hi. She's eating a chocolate chip muffin. This is Reese. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. So she's going to help me make a lot of these yummy things. Aren't you? Okay, so we are going to be making brown butter oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. We're also gonna be making mini pumpkin pie croissants and pumpkin brownies. So those are our dessert slash after, after school snack things because I wanted to include a couple like after school snack things because I don't know about your kids, but mine are starving the second they get in the door and they always look forward to my baking. So they always come home and they're like, mom, what'd you bake today? So I wanted to include at least three things and we're gonna do two cozy fall dinners as well. The dinners just sound so good to me. And the one is a hot honey chicken. I'm super excited for that. And the other one is a butternut squash pasta. Me garlic butternut squash pasta. So I'm really excited to make these. And I think it'll just be a fun video. And I like to um, switch up my video. So I do so a lot of day in the life mom vlog type videos but sometimes I like to offer like a sit down um type video and I thought it was time for a good cooking baking one just to give you guys some inspiration so I hope that you will stay <laughs> think about subscribing to my channel like and comment always and leave in the comments below what types of videos you guys want to see next from me Let's get baking. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the brown butter pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Oh, so the reason oh, it's called brown butter is because we brown some butter. It's actually really easy. You just take a cup of butter and we're gonna put it in a pot and just brown it for like three to four minutes. And it just makes the butter like crisp up and it's it just enhances the no, flavor, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So this recipe calls for pumpkin butter, and it's actually super easy to make. So while our browned butter is cooling, we're gonna make up the pumpkin butter. So for this, you want two 15 ounce cans. Um, I have this ginormous, <laughs> pumpkin can here so I have to kind of do the math to see how much that is in cups. So eight ounces is one cup so this is going to be just shy of two cups of pumpkin puree. Where you going monkey? Oh. You want to help mommy? No? Okay. So next we're gonna do a third cup of rice vinegar. It's supposed to be apple cider, but I actually don't have apple cider. But one of the best substitutes for that is rice vinegar, or you could even use lemon juice. Uh -huh. Third cup of rice vinegar. We're gonna do half a cup of honey, Whoa. or you could use maple syrup. Get all that honey goodness in there, eh? Then a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I like it. It's yummy vanilla extract. Then a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Um, a I teaspoon need. of cinnamon. Use my pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. So we're gonna mix this all together, and then you actually cook this on the stove 
for 20 minutes. So we are going to have to come back Mom. to this and start something else. I'll make it. You can mix it. Here, you mix, okay? While we wait for the pumpkin butter, I'm going to start the pumpkin chocolate chip brownies. So we need three quarter cup of flour. Yeah, you can mix. And you're going to do you want some chocolate chips? Okay, can you sit, sit there? We're going to do half a teaspoon Yucky. of baking powder. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of salt. We're just going to mix that together. So to our dry mixture, we're going to add three quarter cup of melted butter. We need one and a half cups of sugar. That came out real fast, didn't it? One. And we need a half cup. There we go. That comes out so fast. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I got we need three eggs. Reese, do you want to crack an egg? Mm-hmm. Like this. Pull it open. There you go. Pull it apart. Pull. Pull. There you go. Good job. You did it. High five. cup of baking cocoa. Baking cocoa. You ready? Yeah. Can you dump that in for mom? Yeah. Pull this. Oh, good job. Now can you very gently mix? So if he asks you to do two separate bowls for the wet and dry ingredients, I have found in my experience it doesn't really alter the recipe that much. So I just throw it all in together and it always turns out. So to the batter, we're going to add half a cup of chocolate chips. You could even use vanilla chocolate, like white chocolate chips, that would be really good too. I freaking love canned pumpkin so much. It's just the best. This smells, I wish you could smell what my kitchen and the house smells like right now. Brown butter, chocolate, like it smells so good. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Actually, a whole teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Put this all together and add it to our brownie tray. I might make these for Thanksgiving. Who doesn't love brownies? Just added some orange sprinkles just to make it a little bit more Halloween and fall appropriate because I have little ones I just really like to I don't know, make them a little bit more fun. So we're gonna bake this in the oven for 45 minutes. I have to mention, when you, if you make these, I'll link the recipe down below. I was actually supposed to do a chocolate batter and a pumpkin batter. That way it's layered and you can see like the pumpkin with the chocolate. But I didn't read down that far or somehow I missed it. So it's all mixed together, which is fine. You can do it whatever way you want, but definitely take my advice and read the entire recipe before you start. And then you won't miss stuff like me, but they're still going to taste delicious. And that's the fun part about baking and cooking is if you make a mistake, it's really no big deal. You can do it, add whatever twist you want to it. You could make things gluten-free. If you're gluten-free, you can just do whatever. So yeah, let's bake these for 45 minutes. So our pumpkin butter is done. So I'm going to transfer it to a bowl and look at my child. <laughs> Reese, ah, it's a ghost. Oh, it's just you. This is super hot, so you want to let this cool. So I'm going to put it in the fridge to cool for a bit. So now that our brownies are in the oven, we're going to jump back to the browned butter oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. So to the brown butter, we're going to add one and a half, I believe, cups of brown sugar. Is it one and a half? One and a quarter. So there's one. And a quarter. Then we're going to add a third cup of our pumpkin butter. It's still hot, but it'll be fine. We're going to add one egg, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, 
a tablespoon of espresso powder. We're gonna mix this all together and then we're gonna add our dry ingredients. So next we're gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of old-fashioned oats. These are gonna be so good. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the kids and my husband to try it. A spoon of baking soda. This is half teaspoon measurement. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt and two cups of chocolate chips. Now I'm gonna do a cup of these. These are like the milk chocolate peanut butter cups. I found these at Walmart. So they're just like mini peanut butter cups because I thought that sounded so good. So we're gonna do a cup of those and then we do a cup of normal chocolate chips. Now we're just gonna mix this all together. So at this point it says to add the last third cup of pumpkin butter to the batter, but to gently, gently, I'm gonna taste it. Oh my God. I use my spatula to gently roll it into the batter. Brownies are done, and now it's time to put the cookies in the oven for eight minutes before we have to rotate them and then put them in for another two to three minutes. so Reese Bear could do some painting and I could spend time with her because it's just me at home. My husband has his own business. Um, so I just wanted to add that so that it's realistic because I do not have help. So I just take breaks in between to spend some one-on-one um, -on -one time with her and then I can come back and get going on the video. So, as you saw, the brownies are done, the cookies are done, and now we're going to start on the squash pasta. So I Yes! So I microwaved this butternut squash for about four minutes. It makes it so much easier to cut. It is very hot. So we're just going to chop this up into little cubes and then add it to a baking tray. I've already preheated the oven to 400 degrees. Yeah, it doesn't smell that good till it's... No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna put the cubed squash on a greased baking sheet. And then this calls for prosciutto, but I'm gonna do bacon. So I'm gonna chop up some bacon and put that around the squash. You need about six cloves of garlic and if you can fresh herbs if you don't have fresh not a big deal you can just use dried but um fresh is honestly where it's at i don't even know what that was i was like <laughs> sometimes y'all i don't know what <laughs> where i get the things that i get okay so i'm gonna throw in the whole chunks of garlic onto the pan The reason you do that, by the way, you smash the garlic with a knife is because the skin just peels right off. It smells so good. Like, so good. So I just, like, peel off any time. doesn't really matter if you get some sticks in there, but it's better if you can just peel off the leaves literally smells like heaven. Toss all of that together. Get some more time off of here. We're gonna sprinkle on generous 
amount of salt. Here's some pepper. And I've got about one, two, three, four strips of bacon. I'm just gonna cut and arrange around the squash. day I just had to throw on this flannel because the green sweater was just I was roasting <laughs> I was roasting. the only reason I put this on is because I have like a really small crop top underneath and it's just you could see like my whole belly so I'm like no we got to be some we got to be modest here so anyways so the squash is done so we are gonna put it in a sauce pot I should put the lid on my little goodie Oopsies, goody tray over here. Um, so we're gonna put the squash in the saucepan and then we're gonna puree it up and it's gonna be so yum. The recipe calls for ricotta cheese, but I'm gonna do sour cream. Again, you can just substitute things, it's no big deal. So I'm gonna do about half a cup, I'd say that's about half of sour cream. And then we're going to use our little blender to blend it all up so it's like the sauce. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring a large pot of water to a boil to cook the pasta. And I'm going to add some salt to the water. And bring that to a boil. Skillet here, and I'm adding about two tablespoons of butter. So now to the pot, I'm just adding some sage from my garden. You can chop it if you want. I don't really care if I have <laughs> like chunks of it in here. And then same with your rosemary. And I'm just gonna give this a stir and wait till the butter gets browned. So now that the butter is browned, we're gonna add the squash sauce. to the skillet and we're gonna give that all a stir okay I'm gonna try look how amazing this looks I am seriously so excited oh my gosh it's really really hot so I'm gonna try not to burn my mouth. Um, you could sprinkle with Parmesan cheese. I prefer just the flavors that are in here, but. Oh my gosh. This is literally heaven. Like heaven. I highly recommend this recipe and then when I'm finished stuffing my face 
we're gonna move on to the hot honey chicken. So now we're gonna get started on our chicken. So in this bowl, this you are supposed to use, you could use corn flakes, but I decided to just add regular breadcrumbs that are already seasoned and they already have some Parmesan cheese in them. And I added a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and a pinch of salt. And then in this bowl, we have two eggs and about two tablespoons of hot sauce. So I'm just mixing, whisking this together. And I have chicken thighs, you can do chicken breasts. I just find boneless, skinless chicken thighs um, have more flavor and you can kind of butterfly them. So I'm going to dip them into the egg mixture and then into the breadcrumbs and then place them on a parchment covered baking sheet. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty? Into a 425 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. So now, while the chicken is cooking, we are gonna do the hot honey sauce. So the first thing we need is half a cup of honey. We need two to three tablespoons of hot sauce. And in our house, we like Frank's red hot sauce. I'm gonna use a little bit of this hardcore carnivore, carnivore Texas chili lime rub, because I feel like that's just gonna taste so good. Onion powder. I can open the bag. Garlic powder and salt. About half a teaspoon. This is gonna be so good. Okay, I'm just gonna check the meat. Oh yeah, it's definitely done. Okay, so now You literally just take the sauce and pour it over top of the chicken. Colin is gonna love this. <laughs> and me too, I'm so excited. Um, yes please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's hot. That is amazing. You guys are gonna love it. Well, I hope you guys liked today's video. I am honestly dead because it's now 2.30 and I've been on my feet most of today. So I'm gonna sit down before I have to go and get the girls from school and take them to dance and then I have to clean up, feed them, clean up all this mess and Colin won't be home till late tonight because he has a massive concrete job. So it's all me. <laughs> like, I'm going to be like, uh, on the couch at like 8.30. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you really liked today's video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I love you so much. I will leave all the recipe links down below. And please let me know that you enjoyed this video because it is a ton of work. But you know I love to cook and bake. Cooking and baking for people that and gifting are my love languages. Um, so I truly do love it. Although it is a lot of work, I love it. So if you guys wanna see more of these types of videos, please let me know. Also, Canadian Thanksgiving is gonna be a week Saturday. It's October, well, the Thanksgiving is actually October. Um, it's October 9th, but we're hosting a week this Saturday. So um, I'm going to film everything that we cook for that. But I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.